Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 2 equals 72. We are going to provide only the first term, only the real solution to this problem. Okay, and um, here is what we are going to do. Okay, so um, x to the power of 4 is the same thing as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Because if you open the bracket, you will have x to the power of 4 back. Since we can multiply the powers according to one of the laws of indices. Then we have minus x to the power of 2 equals 72. Now, I have x squared in two places, right? Okay, so let x squared be equal to y. So anyway, I have x squared now. I'm going to write y. Then this square on it will appear minus x squared here is y and this is equal to 72 by the way we are trying to get only the real solution so from here again we understand that we now have a quadratic equation so we have y squared minus y minus 72 equals zero okay because i needed to bring the constant to the left hand side now what method would you use to solve this problem we can apply factorization method okay so in that case we look for two numbers that we will multiply to get minus 72 and we will add them to get minus 1. Minus 1 is the coefficient of y, right? The two numbers will be minus 9 and plus 8. Because minus 9 times 8 will give us minus 72. And minus 9 plus 8 will give us minus 1. So that means these two numbers will fit in. So the factors now will be y minus this 9, okay, or we have um, y plus 8. Then we equate everything to 0. Now we know that it's either y minus 9 is equal to 0 or y plus 8 is equal to 0. And we are equating this to 0 because you multiply these two to get 0. So one of them must be 0 or both of them can even be 0, right? So from here, y minus 9 equals 0. So that means that y is equal to 0 plus 9 or on this side, y is equal to 0 minus 8 so we have y to be 9 or y is minus 8 remember the problem says find only the real solution so we are interested in the real solution but remember when we say that um, x to the power of 2 equals y so that means in place of y now I can put x to the power of 2 and this is equal to 9 so what do I do I will still get back to the other value of y so from here we have x to the power of 2 to be equal to 3 to the power of 2 we have succeeded in making sure that the the powers are the same right so we will say that our x is equal to 9 because we must equate the base i mean the basis 
Now we have the real solution. Let's look at the other one, whether it's going to give us real or complex solution. Remember, we're interested in the real solution. Now, this y is x to the power of 2, and this is equal to minus 8. Right? Now, what number would you have here that will give you minus 8 on the right-hand side? There is no number. As a matter of fact, to find x from here, you will take the square root of both sides. Okay, we take the square root of negative 8. And this negative square root now means that we are having complex solution because of this. Okay, so this will go with this. And x is now plus or minus square root of negative 8. But if you find the square root of negative 8, it is the same thing as um, um, i square root of 8, right? And this i now means that we are having a complex solution, and it is imaginary. So we are not interested in this. So this has to be rejected. This has to be rejected. So we go back to this and verify with a real solution. The equation is x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 2 equals 7. But now our x is 3. So we have 3 to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 2. Sorry, this is 72. Will this give us 72? Let's go there. 3 to the power of 4 is not 12. Some persons will multiply 3 by 4 and then get 12. And 3 times 2 to get 6. But that is wrong. 3 to the power of 4 is 3 times... Okay, this is how it is. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Then minus 3 squared is 3 times 3. Right? Now... Can I cancel this, this, and this, and this? Not possible, right? So we have to multiply before we subtract. So we can't cancel anything from there. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. Minus 3 times 3 is 9. And 81 minus 9 will give us 72. And this means that um, our x to be equal to 3 satisfies the equation perfectly. Thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, subscribe for more detailed workings like this.